and we're doing everything in our power to fix that, to make it better. We only hold a little piece of this puzzle. Department of Liquor Licenses and Control to approve the application for a Series 5 liquor license government. Job number 236181 submitted by Toby R. Cotter for the Bullhead Bell located at 1251 Highway 95 in Bullhead City. I'm sorry, I do not support selling alcohol at public parks. There's a saying, I used to teach this in my classes, don't go to stupid places where stupid people do stupid things. Unfortunately, our parks are falling into that and have for a long time. We no longer use the parks. feel they're safe and I don't want to go where trouble may find me. There's been countless problems at Community Park and the tourists in the summer are packed in like sardines. And that's the freedom we enjoy living in Bullhead City. And and criminal issues and jet, tragic jet ski accidents the last thing we need is more drunks in the park and on the water so i know you're going to prove this anyway but that's my opinion thank you i am the applicant along with uh, all of you and our staff uh, for the bullhead bell this is more of a technical appearance reappearance on council you all did already authorize the approval and submission of the liquor license for the bullhead bell um, however uh, wanting to give public ample transparency and ample opportunity to uh, have public input we're doing it exactly the way and yeah, I think at this point in time, with all the accidents that we have, with drunk drivers and the children uh, participating in alcohol intake, I think there needs to be serious consideration about the times that alcohol are sold. And I uh, First of all, I'd like to say our number one duty as a public servant is public safety, period, number one, whether it's on the streets, on the river. Uh, in the neighborhoods, that is our number one priority. It was back out on the river for the second or third time that day. So there's a lot more than what we can tell you in a workshop. Bottom line, well, the only reason that this continues to come up is because people are getting hurt and getting killed on the river. And we're doing everything in our power to fix that, to make it better. We only hold a little piece of this puzzle I don't approve of alcohol sales in the whole city of Bullhead City because of all the accidents it causes. People are getting hurt and getting killed on the river, and we're doing everything in our power to fix that, to make it better. We only hold a little piece of this puzzle. And uh, I don't know how that would ever be passed, but that's my opinion. So. Us serving alcohol is not going to be any different than anyone else. It's going to be responsible. Um, I'm sure all of our staff will have what we call in Nevada TAM cards. I don't know if they call them TAM cards in, uh, yes, which you take classes on and, uh, and I'm sure people will be cut off if they start to show any sign of intoxication. Um, and we we're going to have cameras and security, um, so... People are getting hurt and getting killed on the river, and we're doing everything in our power to fix that, to make it better. We only hold a little piece of this puzzle. We, we've already went through all this. I just wanted to let a couple of you know that. Um, are there any questions from council? Um, first of all, I'd like to say our number one duty as a public servant is public safety period, number one, whether it's on the streets, on the river, uh, in the neighborhoods. That is so I had a question, you guys are charging 20 bucks for this? You guys really think this is worth 20 bucks? Just a single paper? 
You are charging every single summer and season for no reason. All we're doing is ensuring that everyone on that wave runner has watched that video. No, actually, the public comment period is over with, so Steve is talking. Connect with friends and family by doing these same things together. Um, I do want to say the $20 fee that's going out right now, $10 of that is actually for the lifeguard. Hello, and welcome to Bullhead City, Arizona, a beautiful community on the Colorado River. People are getting hurt and getting killed on the river, and we're doing everything in our power to fix that, to make it better. We only hold a little piece of this puzzle. Bullhead City welcomes thousands of visitors to our community each year for special events and to enjoy the Colorado River, Lake Mojave, and city recreational amenities. So I had a question. You guys are charging 20 bucks for this? You guys really think this is worth 20 bucks? Just a single paper? Leave. I'm sorry. This is not this. No, this is not 20 bucks. This is not worth 20 bucks. $20 fee that's going out right now, $10 of that is actually for the lifeguard. The other $10 is for the commercial launch, which should go away once the commercial launch is paid for. Um, they wanted more, if you remember. I'm not for, I'm not really one for fees, but when it comes to public safety, um, that takes priority over, over anything. are charging every single summer and season for no reason and the wristbands I have um, so once they come and if, okay let me give you an example seven million people come to uh, Bohe City to rent jet skis and they go enjoy time on the Colorado River whenever they finish we take the jet ski back whenever they finish I guarantee you they're gonna take that bracelet off and put it in the river the wristbands I think the consensus is and I everyone would agree that the city will pay for the wristbands. What's going to happen to the life of the fishes? What's going to happen to the houses? What's going to happen to the whole river? Who's going to clean it up? You know? It's, it, this wristband thing is its a bad idea. And it would have the name of the company with their phone number on it primarily as a benefit to the person renting it, who is in a crash, who stalls, who's floating down the river. And uh, that, is a, that is a theme that does happen from people who aren't from here. It's not worth it, you know? This is a very bad idea, so you guys should stop it. Highway 95 is just too busy, some 30,000 cars a day, sometimes more uh, on heavy weekends. So with that level of traffic, we can't do what they've done here on Casino Drive. But yeah, so uh, first I'd like to say that um, in, in my time at Bullhead City, um, when uh, City Manager Cotter took over, I think it was 2010, he has done such a fantastic job getting so much tourism here, the sports tourism. And we live in a free society. Um, the, uh, the council's been so supportive of, of, you know, putting our parks together. What With getting these crowns coming in, it does uh, pose a challenge. So, you know, is there really an 
uptick in things or absolutely a huge increase in major crimes whether there be uh you know murder shootings uh armed robberies I mean, it, it's it's bad people are getting hurt and getting killed on the river and we're doing everything in our power to fix that to make it better we only hold a little piece of this puzzle things we've done wrong in, in, in law enforcement and they do need to change. I would really like to, uh, to d extend that same reasoning that we want to show the community how good things are here. We're out there to protect lives, uh, keep the community safe, but we're also out there to uphold your constitutional rights. We have seen an uptick in violent crimes. We also approved an event yesterday where people were protesting on the street corner. People may not have liked that. People... What we're doing is ensuring that everyone on that wave runner has watched that video. <laughs> We want to make sure that we're out in the community and we're listening to our citizens, making sure that we're being very responsive to what they want out of their government. It's not worth it. You know, this is a very bad idea. I guess you stop it.